Hi everyone, today I'm checking out TVXQ's comeback. I just finished reacting to Changmin or Max's solo MD and I really did enjoy that song. So please check out the description if you want to see my reaction to that as well. But for this video, we are here to check out Yunho's solo MV with Champagne. I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out because it does seem like a very fun, energetic song that I can get into. And the MV looks pretty ballin as well. Looks like they really wanted to style him like youthfully, which is a, an interesting mix. So without further ado, let's check it out. Oh wow, it's already ballin with the Champagne. That golden Y. Wow, his hair is really different here. That was a weird start. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so many different stylings so far. It feels like he's gonna go for that s swaggy, almost slightly douchey feeling. Not in a bad way, but you know what I mean? That feeling. But it's like a good, it's like a confidence kind of thing. Some rapping to start off with already too. He's a very suave guy, like I, I'm i jealous of his vibe. <laughs> Is there really anything to shave off there though? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> okay, I have actually experienced that I think and it's not pleasant. <laughs> I love the dreamy feel of the song too. Oh, he's, he's doing it, he's doing stuff. <laughs> Oh, get it. <laughs> Jeez, I love this part. The dance is cool too. I was worried he wouldn't necessarily be able to pull off that like young feeling, that youthful feeling, but he's doing pretty well. He fits in. But he feels like the alpha male. <laughs> oh wow. So many different changes going on in the song. He's got that voice for it too though. And the moves. <laughs> I like this rainbow kind of psychedelic feeling too. That hair though. <laughs> I would not even have recognized him with that hair. Feels very 90s but in a modern kind of way. I actually have no idea how old they are. I'm guessing around 30? Maybe? But they look very good for that age. <laughs> That'd be very interesting to see people just break out. Like if that, if you see this, you walk into a building and the elevator is like this. <laughs> I love the dance though, it's like, it's kind of like Song Jin's 25, but totally different vibe. Who, is the guy featured on this song? I saw him in the teaser. Oh, cool. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is like Broadway style with the extra swag. He's doing all sorts of kind of music genres in this song. And doing all sorts of things with his body too. <laughs> but really though, the amount of money they put into this definitely makes for a good send-off. People are gonna remember him, I think. I really like these types of like disco-y vibe songs. Kinda like that Bruno Mars feeling. <laughs> the chicken though. <laughs> Life goals be the chicken in the music video. <laughs> I really like repetition with like a nice beat. It kind of reminds me of like a pub crawl. Not that I know what that is like. <laughs> awesome. That was a really fun music video and a really- oh it's not done? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I did not realize they had to put the lighting reflectors that close. I don't know if that's a joke or not. And this guy too, he looks familiar. I don't know if these are people in the entertainment industry. <laughs> I was just thinking about how that must have been interesting to film. He's got the moves though. 
He's definitely still like limber and oh, oh there's no shirt on that guy. He's really tall too. What does he not have? I don't know. That's the question of the century for all K-pop idols. <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoyed that music video. I thought it was really fun. I liked his voice. It really, like, things switched up a lot of times. But I think it was a good kind of switcheroo. You know, it kept things going along. And I feel like there's something in this song that everyone could enjoy. If you like the disco -y -er parts, if you like the rapping parts, then yeah, I feel like it has many things to offer. And the styling was like out of this world. So many expensive looking outfits and sets and extra people, girls and guys, all of them. <laughs> I don't know, it was just a really fun, you know, eye popping, catching kind of MV. And that's what I look for in K-pop. So I'm always happy when I see those really luxurious music videos with a good, fun, upbeat song. So that's basically what he delivered, and I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely gonna have to listen to it a bit more. And I think it's safe to assume he's probably not gonna be promoting on music shows unless things were pre-recorded. But yeah, I actually have no really idea what's going on with promotions for them. So please let me know if you've got the inside scoop. And as always, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this comeback. And yeah, I liked it. As always guys, stay awkward, subscribe and like if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!